life wisdom. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Jen Hillman. And today I'm going to be demonstrating a little bit of foot and leg massage for you. So I'm working with Corey here. He's got some lovely feet for me to work on today. And I've already started by applying a little bit of oil. Just to smooth out her skin and to reduce traction so that my hands will glide easily. So usually when I massage, I like to use almond oil because it's unscented and it has a nice consistency that I enjoy. But what about you guys? Do you like to use oil when you massage or do you like to use lotion on your skin? Do you like something with a smell? What do you like? What do you like to use when you're massaging yourself or someone else? Leave me a comment below because it's always really nice to hear from you guys. I love getting your feedback. You can also leave me any requests if there's anything that you'd like to see, any massage videos you'd like to see. I'd love to hear from you guys. So give me a thumbs up and a comment below and we'll get started. So I'm just starting with some smooth, relaxing technique. A nice, slow stroke going from the tops of her feet along the tops of her legs and back down. Slide my hands under the soles of her feet and off her toes. And I start here just to allow her a chance to start to relax. And it also helps to warm up the muscle tissue. And it's a great way to smooth the oil across the skin. So I'm going to start by just picking up one foot and just scooping her heel underneath my hand and then I can use the opposite thumb to start to make circles underneath her foot. And oftentimes when people are just starting out learning how to give foot massages, one of the biggest issues that people come across is that your hands get tired kind of quickly. So that's okay, you just can take breaks and also change up the technique that you're using. So here I'm making circles under the sole of her foot, but if your hands are starting to get tired, you can switch to massaging the top of the foot. making long smooth strokes so here I'm using my four fingers and this makes it a lot easier it gives my thumbs a chance to rest you can also make circles here oftentimes when people are giving a foot massage they neglect to massage the tops of the feet. And it's actually an area that feels really, really good to have massaged. So I always make sure to include a little love across the tops of the feet. And people really appreciate it. So part of my rock star massage regimen is definitely a nice solid foot massage. So here I'm massaging around the ankle bones. This is also an area that's loaded with nerve endings and oftentimes gets neglected.
So again, scooping up the bottom of her foot, <clears throat> I'm going to use my outside hand to massage along this outer edge of her foot. So again, I'm using my thumb. I'm just making small circles along that outer ridge of the foot. straight down and go up again so you can repeat any of these movements one or two or three times the more you do it, the more relaxing it's going to be to the person you're working with. So now I'm just tracing lines up from her heel towards the ball of her foot. And then I'm basically tracing the lines of these tendons that go from her toes down to her heels. So each one, you trace the line. You can use your hands to make alternating circles along the soles of the feet. And then also cross the balls of the feet. As your hands start to fatigue, you can always switch the technique that you're using to give your hands a break. And whenever I get a massage, I'm always amazed by how incredibly good a foot massage feels. And a hand massage is the same way. Having your hands and feet massage feels absolutely amazing. It's so relaxing, so soothing, and our feet are that part of the body that oftentimes get neglected. We don't spend a lot of time loving on our feet, so a good foot massage can really do wonders. along her heel as well just sliding my hands back and forth and squeezing onto the heels as my hands glide off prepare to move on to the other leg and to the other foot and sometimes before I switch sides I like to just do a little bit of work on both legs and feet at the same time so just coming back to that place in the center coming back to that balance it also helps them to kind of notice the difference from one side to the other As you're ready, you can switch to the other side and start working onto the other foot. So scooping up her other foot into my hand, I'll come in with my opposite thumb and just start making large circles across the sole of her foot. And 
And so as I'm making these circles across the sole of her foot, I'm, I'm able to explore the entire surface area of the, the bottom of her foot. So you can take this circle all the way to the outer edge of her foot. Move it right up the center of her foot. Or even up along the inner arch here. So you have a lot of room to explore and play. And then switching to the top of her foot. Just gently gliding my fingers across the top of her foot. Applying a little bit of traction that gently stretches the skin. make little circles here. Taking your time to really explore the full surface area of the entire foot and ankles. And if you are massaging someone's feet, they're going to really appreciate the time that you spend really covering all your bases there. Massaging around the ankle bones is always very soothing. And then here I'm going to use my thumb to trace little circles along this outer edge of her foot. And so maybe some of you have heard of reflexology. And even though this is not a reflexology massage, um, you're still hitting a lot of those reflexology points. So the idea of reflexology is that you have nerve endings in the soles of your feet that correspond to various organs and systems within your body. And there's very specific points that relate to specific areas. And as you massage or stimulate these areas on the feet, it has an effect on the associated organ. So here, even though this is not a very specific reflexology massage, are basically massaging the entire foot so in essence just by giving this very thorough foot massage you're basically giving your partner a full body massage it's just that effective it's just that powerful So this is great if you want to help someone relax, but maybe you don't have the time or maybe you don't have the skills to give them a full body massage, but you can give them a really great and thorough foot massage and have a very relaxing effect. So here I'm just gliding my hands one after the other and I'm gently squeezing the tissue at the base of the heel. And here I'm just 
just giving a nice gentle stretch as I glide my hands all the way out from her heel across the tips of her toes. And once you feel complete with the second foot, you can have a few long relaxing strokes up and down the leg. And then again we come back to center, working both feet simultaneously. So coming back to both feet and just do some nice finishing strokes. You know, it's really up to you how you feel creative, any way that you would like to wrap up this foot massage. You can glide your hands all the way up the leg to the knee and back down. traction on each of the toes and when I'm giving someone traction on their toes you know I'm not trying to make their toes pop but just trying to give a little stretch sometimes they will pop if they need to but you don't have to have an agenda and a really great way to end is by scooping underneath both heels and just lean back and pull a little bit of traction on both legs. So this is going to help to stretch out any tension through their hips and low back just by pulling at their feet. It's pretty amazing. So it may not look like I'm doing very much, it may not feel like you're doing very much, but the person that you're working with is definitely getting a nice, gentle, easy stretch, so it's very nice. Sliding your hands off the feet. And just find a nice, easy way to wrap it up and feel complete with your partner. And if you haven't already, go ahead and favorite this video so you can come back to it and practice again, have someone practice on you. It's really nice to take turns and share this work with each other. Don't forget to leave me your comments below. It's always really great to hear from you guys. And visit my website, jenhillman.com, to learn more about me and my practice. You can also subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel so you can have access to all of my videos and much more to come. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. Thank you so much for watching.